not an apology um, or a phone call or a letter. I mean, I'm just disappointed in the whole thing. The father of a teen reacts to the demotion of a Fort Wayne police officer after the officer and teen were involved in a fight that started as road rage. Good evening. I'm Heather Heron. And I'm Brett Thomas. It's not enough. A road rage case led to the demotion of Derek Westfield from deputy chief to captain. But tonight, the family of the teenager involved says they're not satisfied. 15 finds out investigator Alyssa Ivinson has been following this story for months and joins us now with an interview you'll only see on News Channel 15. Alyssa? Well, the Gonzalez family just got this letter from the Fort Wayne Police Department today saying Westfield violated the department's rules and regulations, that those actions are not condoned and, quote, appropriate disciplinary action has been taken. But for the Gonzalez family, that action didn't go far enough. It was pointed on, on the whole thing. John Gonzalez wishes more yeah, would have been done. Fort Wayne police officer Derek Westfield and his 17-year-old son were involved in a fight last November. That incident that, that occurred on my driveway, I don't think I was able to uh, protect them. 15 finds out got to see the pictures taken by police that night. The teenager left bleeding from his nose and several places on his head. The police report said Westfield's cheek appeared to be, quote, slightly swollen. I just don't want it to happen again. It all started as a case of apparent road rage in the Union Chapel Auburn Road roundabout. The police report says the teens say Westfield cut them off. They flashed their lights at him, and he brake-checked them. The teens passed Westfield, and he followed them and stopped in front of their house. When he got out of the car, things escalated into a fight. Westfield was off duty and in his personal vehicle at the time. Earlier this month, the prosecutor said she would not file criminal charges because of conflicting witness statements. Then, two days ago, the police department announced Westfield will go from a deputy chief to a captain. Still supervising. Um, I don't think he should be leading uh, support decisions and an example he's demonstrated as a law enforcement officer, especially as a command. 15 Finds Out discovered that according to public records, Westfield made nearly $107,000 last year as deputy chief. As a captain, he'll make closer to $90,000. What rules or standards of a police officer do you think Westfield broke that night? Integrity, trust. I mean, you're there to, to, to protect the citizens. Westfield said in the police report he followed the teens because he also lives in that neighborhood. Today, 15 finds out knocked on his door. His fiance answered. It's probably best if you just leave the property. Okay, thank you. I don't know if you ever read the, the law enforcement creed. You're there to protect, to serve. I don't think that happened. The Gonzalez family tells me they are still pursuing more legal action in civil court. For 15 finds out, I'm Alyssa Ivinson.